Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Scarland here bringing you a new Neverwinter video. And with the Module 25 release, uh, they have actually updated the appointment event vendor. Uh, so everyone should be familiar with this guy in Protector's Enclave. Uh, they introduced uh, appointments, which they changed the name to, uh, a while back. So we're talking about uh, Hell Pit. Harvester of Nightmares, uh, they made Siege of Neverwinter, what we, you know, we recently just had, uh, that's an appointment now, uh, and then Portobello's was also made into an appointment. So basically they're just limited time events, they come around so often, they have their own set of currency. Uh, everyone should be familiar with them by now, unless you're literally a brand new player. So with, us, you know, again, uh, as the title of the video suggests, um, they updated the merchant. Uh, originally, the merchant was never here. Uh, you could only buy these items when an appointment was active. However, they changed it and said, hey, you got the currency. Uh, we'll have the vendor there 24-7. Uh, so let's just go ahead and jump into it real quick. So the three tabs, we have the participation. Uh, not much has changed here. However, they did add some event food. Um, now, I'm not sure why <laughs> i'm not sure exactly why they added these three specific event foods uh there hasn't been a way to get these three for a long time um but if you're gonna put event food in here then you might as well put it all in here uh you know the, the squash soup the, the sorbet all that event food should just be in a vendor somewhere in the enclave anyway i don't necessarily agree with having these three in the appointment vendor they should have it like i said the the food and the consumables should literally just have its own vendor somewhere else use a different currency use ad i don't care what you do but i don't know why they chose these three um lathander's do uh, lyra's fair and then the red veins so not good to begin with the ap one's nice uh if you don't need any other event food running uh the action point gain increase isn't horrible um but yeah, so that's that. Uh, the challenge, uh, nothing was changed with the challenge, um, except they did update the bag. The bag of holding is a 72 slot now instead of the 60 slot. And then the big boy. So now we have the achievements here. Now this is where the major changes are. As you can see, they added a new legendary mount and a new mythic companion. Now they did a while back decrease all the old ones. So the original OG appointment exclusive mount, the Golden Warhorse, uh, is now only two if you never bought it. Same with the tank is two, and then the, the companion was dropped to three. So I'm under the suspicion that if you wait long enough, uh, you can get the Balgora and Portobello for the lower prices. Um, now... If you want to buy them right away, then you're going to have to spend more currency for them, obviously. Uh, everybody knows I collect mount skins. I'll probably spend the five currency for the Balgora, uh, but I'll simply wait to buy Portobello. I don't see any rush. Because keep in mind, guys, you can only get this currency when the event's coming around. Uh, I would assume that uh, Dungeon Master Day, the Dungeon Master, a.k.a. the Portobello event, is probably going to be coming soon. Uh, I haven't looked at the calendar. I'm sure I could look at the calendar. But I'm assuming Portobello's is coming soon. Um, so go, let's go ahead and just jump into it here. Uh, the Balgora is basically just a reskin of a mount that we already had. You know, Cryptic loves it. Cryptic loves using the same um, resources. You know, it is what it is. Equip power is when you use an encounter power, you have a 15% chance to gain 10,000 accuracy for 8 seconds. And it does have an internal cooldown uh, of 15 seconds. Now, in my opinion, not very good. Some people may use it. I don't know why, but it's not that great, to be honest. Uh, the combat power uh, summons your Balgura from the depths of Avernus, who slams his fist down with a hellish impact. 750 magnitude. It applies a DOT. The DOD does 20 magnitude for 10 seconds. Incoming damage to the target increases by 11%. So here we go. Another debuffing mount power to add to the rotation. So everyone can stack 
a different mount power. Um, and there we go. Now, the biggest thing with this is uh, I haven't published the video yet about the uh, mount changes and the insignia changes. Uh, but just for reference, this one does have four insignia slots for the bonus. Uh, again, I haven't published that video, so look forward to that when I discuss that and laugh at that and, you know, do that. Now we got good old Portobello Da Vinci, Mythic account wide. Take a look at this guy. Chance on hit to reduce enemies' combat advantage by up to 7.5%, so it is a debuff. Uh, I don't think we actually have that yet. I'm not sure. Um... And then something we do have that is brand new is the utility power. It's simply two to all attributes. Now, unfortunately, the thing with attributes is, is uh, they're not really that important. Yeah, they're important to a degree, um, but plus two to all attributes is not worth using in the utility slot when we have limited slots and everyone has meta builds already. Uh, so I don't see any reason to use this now if it was like plus five to all attributes would actually have to test it and look at the damage comparison then like an extra five intelligence on a caster uh for your magic bonus uh damage increase might actually be worthwhile plus two to all attributes uh i, I don't see it i don't see anyone ever using this uh so if you have this as a summoned uh D, D in session when you have a team of five players, Portobello eventually will start a role-playing group. This causes your team to gain 3.5% power and combat advantage. So this should stack with the tutor. Uh, the tutor is just combat advantage. So if you have a support character running a tutor and then you have a support character running this, uh, you're going to gain like, you know, 10% combat advantage and a 3.5% power. So I can see uh, some support characters uh, actually running this in the new 10-man trial, something like that. Uh, everything else is irrelevant. Uh, uh, testing was done on this already as a summon companion. It's dog shit. It's doing like 17 to 20,000 encounter DPS damage. It's not good as an actual summoned DPS companion or anything. So, you're mainly looking at it as a support character and using it to help your group. Like I said, you run this and someone else is running a tutor, you're gaining a nice hunk of statistics. So, there you go, guys. Uh, and those are the current changes for the appointment vendor. Um, that's all I really got for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll see you guys real soon.